for those of you who've been watching the channel this weekend um, and for quite some time, you know that I went to my very first Comic Con. I brought the whole family my daughter, my son, my wife, and my dad. And we all had an absolute ball. So here is the comic haul for my massive Monday, not really a mail call, but my massive Monday mail call video. Um, these are just absolutely phenomenal. And there is some Spider-Man No Way Home spec books in here as well that I picked up for just $3. I can't wait to show them off. It's going to be absolutely amazing, and I can't wait to talk about this. But before I do, check out the intro. under $60. It was absolutely amazing. I loved every minute of it. And I never thought this would be possible, but at a Comic-Con apparently it is. So, my first Comic-Con was definitely a huge success and a huge hit. With all that being said, let's start talking about these books. First things first, um the oldest book that I picked up, Amazing Spider-Man 247. Um don't know much about it. It is just a reader copy. It would definitely need a press. Um, there is quite a bit of spine roll. The staple is completely kind of sucked in on the bottom um, of it. And and I'll like I said, it's a reader copy. So and I like this cover. Very cool. Very interesting. Kind of reminds me of just who Spidey is fighting criminals, coming in on them when they're least expecting it and just a really cool way to introduce this book i can't wait to read it should be an absolutely amazing read ha <laughs> get it amazing <laughs> sorry unintended dad joke another one um this is also a reader copy this is the only book in this stack that i picked up for more than three dollars and it was five dollars amazing spider-man 291 um the all new deadlier than ever spider slayer strikes now, the Spider Slayers are very cool, very interesting, and I've always been a fan of anything to do with Spider Slayers. So if you notice, a lot of the books I already have include the Spider Slayers in them. So it just, why not, right? So, and this cover is phenomenal too. So Amazing Spider-Man 291, all new Spider Slayers, deadlier than ever. <laughs> I mean, they're not as good as they were. Um, I think, I want to say it was the Spider Slayers that were featured in the 90s TV show by Alistair Smythe, which I really would have liked to see in Amazing Spider-Man because they did introduce Alistair Smythe in Amazing Spider-Man 2. But we all know what happened there. We're not going to dwell on it. Uh, getting up into the 300s now, I've got two in the 300s, one in the 400s, and a bunch in the five and six hundreds. So these are not spec for No Way Home. I'll get to those later. Um, don't skip ahead because these books are still just as amazing. This cover is a little wavy. It does kind of feel like there might be some water damage on it, but this other guy wants you both dead. Yep, it's who you think it is. Catching the black fox was the easy part, Spidey. Black fox is a really cool character. Um, always been like that interesting villain who is also a thief um works with black cat every now and again we saw kind of his demise in the latest black cat comics i can't wait to dive into this book um probably not going to get oppressed or anything but it is a really nice copy and a really nice cover for this book amazing spider-man 349 black fox and i'm not quite sure who that's supposed to be in there it is who I think it is, but I have no idea who the heck it is. Oh, well. Whatever. It's almost like Spidey went through a phase where a lot of covers were orange. Coincidence? And then they switched to green shortly after. 
with the giant size 350th 350th issue um, again a little bit of waviness in the cover it almost looks like something that's spilled on these two books no big deal um, these are just reader copies for me they're great they're not high grades at all that's not what I was looking for I was looking to complete my set if at some point I end up upgrading these books that would be absolutely phenomenal but you know that's not the point of this the point of it was to get reader copies at the very least of all of these books and for the more key-ish books get high grade copies to send off and have um, displayed and graded but this is a phenomenal cover and I feel like a lot of this could be pressed out um, it does kind of look like there is a little staining right there you can kind of see it so it'd be interesting if that could be cleaned I don't think it could um, depending on how far in it goes and whatnot and how old it is but it is what it is and obviously so that must have been Doctor Doom because this is Amazing Spider-Man 350 the following issue Spidey vs. Doctor Doom so absolutely phenomenal cover on this one I love the way they did Spidey with a completely silver Doctor Doom um, and then obviously the green in the background to kind of show off um, the green cape that he has but just another phenomenal cover and I also like how they do these spidey things up here the title card style of him kind of breaking through it uh, they don't always do it that way but when they do they nail it absolutely uh, this is when Ben Riley took over as Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man 417 from November of 96. Uh, Traveler and Scryer. Everything you know is wrong. Another really awesome read, I'm hoping. Amazing Spider-Man 417. Don't know much about it. Won't talk much about it. This is the beautiful, beautiful books that I got for three dollars that are specking toward no way home and that is brand new day let's see not sure which part is which because they didn't label it on the outside but that's okay um so amazing spider-man 552 beautiful cover and well very high grade on this one um should be really nice and the reason why this is specking for no way home is because from what I am understanding, Brand New Day is very much like um, Peter Parker getting a new identity or a, an erased identity from people's minds, so to speak. Um, similar to the way that Doctor Strange kind of makes it so no one remembers that Peter Parker is this amazing, Sp or, well, spectacular Spider-Man in his universe. Whatever, Ultimate Spider-Man, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Um... But basically forgetting that Peter Parker is Spider-Man in that universe. Uh, this is 553, another really nice cover. 554, the Fury or the Fiery Fury of Freak. Plus Spidey Unmasked already. Question mark. Very interesting cover. Well drawn. Well done. This is when Gale was writing Spider-Man. Haven't read too much of that era. And then also Wells, uh, Van Lenti, Van Lenti. Oh, those are different. Sorry, those are 600s. This is the last I bought from uh, Amazing Spider-Man Brand New Day. This is 555, a very big, very busy cover, but I like that only Spidey and Wolverine are in color. Everything else is in a sketch, which is, just, really cool to see arrows flying all over the place again it would be really cool to see um, something along this storyline in the MCU then I picked up some early spider-man 600s so this is 603 I almost picked up 601 but it was a little out of my price range um, for a key like that and it didn't look to be in the best of condition it looked like it was in the condition that or it was going for the price that it would have been if it was cgc probably could have pressed it into a 98 but it looked more 9294 ish so i didn't want to pull the trigger on it um that quickly and in that moment so amazing spider-man 603 interesting way that they drew both mary jane and spider-man the eyes 
on both kind of get me. And that smile on Mary Jane is not flattering at all, but is what it is. Helps me fill that gap of the 600s that I have. So 603. This cover, though, I really like. You got Spider Man, Mary Jane. Um, well, it looks like Spider Man fighting Peter Parker. And if it's not Peter Parker, um, I'm not quite sure who it might be. It could be Flash. I don't know. But really cool cover. Definitely a reporter that he's fighting. And Mary Jane is pissed. Excellent cover. Well drawn. Well done. This one I picked up mainly because it com it was 3, 4, and 5 for the 600s. This cover is interesting. That's all I'm going to say. Because I think I need to sh just show you. It's 605. If you've seen it before, you know it. Because that would be hard to forget. But it must be like a Valentine's Day cover or something like they did recently with Mary Jane too. Just, whoo, interesting, to say the least. Very cool cover, very well done, though. Nice drawing. I, I definitely like all the different faces in the hearts. Everyone who's kind of, like, been with Peter for a while and whatnot. Very well done. And I do like the way that they kind of turned Spidey into this Cupid. That is interesting. It's definitely a different take on him and definitely one that I'm not going to be upset about them doing these next ones purely cover buys 100,000 percent cover buys and they're connecting covers which is the best part of all of this I wish I could hold this up but I don't have enough hands to do so uh, so Amazing Spider-Man 642 and Amazing Spider-Man 643 I'll show these connect there you go awesome covers with Venom up there on this one right here you see a Venom anti-venom Morbius Scor Lady Scorpion um, Rhino Peter then on this cover you see Shocker Sandman Prowler another version of Rhino uh, Craven and these ones connect as well I believe they should not as much no they do very well done uh, so 643 and then 644 again you have almost like a almost looks like Sin Eater wearing a Spider-Man mask uh, Osborne um, Mr. Lee uh, Mr. Negative uh, Doc Connors, the lizard. You've got obviously Doc Ox arm in there as well. And then 645 kind of finishes all of this off. Let me get these framed. These are phenomenal. I'm so glad I picked these up for $3. And then this goes into the 646. Just, oh my god. God, I need to know who drew these. And then 647. Whew. I love this Mysterio cover. Mysterio is one of my guys when it comes to villains for Spider-Man. Absolutely amazing cover. Very well drawn. Vulture on it. Shocker. Or, uh, Electro. So cool. So well done. Uh, 647, I don't know if I said that one, with Juggernaut and Doc Ock, uh, Hobgoblin. I'm not quite sure who everyone is. I don't want to get anything wrong. I can talk more about these if you guys want me to, but I wanted to keep this video as short as possible and talk about how much fun it was to pick these up. And then 648, which is where that kind of breaks down. Um, and my dad was like, you're picking up all of those? I'm like, I need to fill these gaps, and they're only three bucks. Where else are you going to find Amazing Spider-Man books for three bucks? You can't even find these books in the dollar bin. Like, come on, Dad. But big time, Amazing Spider-Man 648. So pretty much 644 to 648 
no, 642 to 648, I believe. Um, just, those are amazing pickups. Again, 19 books in under 19 minutes, too. So I didn't talk for too long about those. And those will all be going in this beautiful Spidey box. So with all that being said, as always, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. I had so much fun at Comic-Con. I can't wait to go back. I can't wait to go to my next one. I don't know when, where, or why it's going to be, but it was so much fun to do this. And I hope to watch some panelists next time, go with some buddies of mine, and also enjoy it with the family as well. So with all that being said, I hope you guys go to your local Comic-Cons and then go somewhere else if you can and just enjoy them because if they're anything like mine, it was so much fun. You can check out the highlight video from the day before. Let me know um, in the comments on Saturday's video before I went to Comic-Con what I should do to make sure Comic-Con is the best for me because that's just something I'm interested in. Kind of comment there. You can also comment on this video and then comment and let me know what your favorite book was in this stack. If you have to go back and rewatch, no harm, no foul. Go back, rewatch, and tell me which one was your favorite. Mine was the Anti-Venom Venom cover. Hands down. Amazing cover. And the fact that they're all connecting variants, I didn't realize that until I started like piecing them together right here, right now. So, again, all that being said, thank you so much for watching. Hashtag Loungers Unite. And, of course, hashtag Loungers Assemble. My shirt's going to be in next week, so I hope yours will too. If you ordered one, we had a lot of orders come through. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. I kept prices as low as I possibly could, I promise you. Um, and go pick up a sticker as well. I'm also going to be shipping out some stickers to longtime supporters of the channel. So if you want one, message me and see you soon. Thank you for watching. As always, hashtag loungers assemble. And come lounge with us next time. Tomorrow I'm doing a really special long form video um, for Halloween. It's a pirate theme this year. So I'm making my uh, pirate video as we speak. It's uploading right now. It's going to be a really awesome video. It's going to be music, Pirates of the Caribbean, have tons of different stuff. And it will be playing outside for my lovely display. If you want to see that, it will be on Instagram very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night. If you have not already subscribed, please go up here. That will drop down and you can click subscribe. Then you can go down here and check out our featured video of the week, which is our latest weekly comics chat. Then go over here if you've already watched that and you can check out a video that YouTube, YouTube picked just for you. And up here will be our most recent video. So that'll probably be the video that came out yesterday, which is our highlights from Comic-Con. Thank you for watching. Have a great night.